Hi everyone, welcome back to Storytime with Tilly. I hope you are all having a fantastic start to the summer. Maybe making some s'mores with the family, or going for a hike, or taking a trip to the coast, or the mountains. There's so many fun things you can do when the weather is nice and it's summertime. I have a few more Bernstein Bear books for you. And then we will move on to other fun books to read. Today's book is going to be The Bernstein Bears and the Soccer Tryout. The Bernstein Bears and the Soccer Tryouts by Stan and Jan Bernstein. After school one day, brother and sister Bear were about to get on the bus. Sister saw a sign. It said, Girl Soccer Team Tryouts Tomorrow. I'm going to try out, said sister. For what? asked brother. For the girls' soccer team, she said. You won't make it, said brother on the bus going home. Why not? asked sister. I'm fast, I'm tricky, and I'm a good kicker. You won't make it because you are too small, he said. The coach wants bigger, older girls for the soccer team. They were still talking about it when they got home. Sister looked angry. You look angry, said Mama Bear. I am angry, said Sister. I'm angry because I want to try out for the girls' soccer team, and Brother says I'm too small. I don't make the rules, said Brother. The coach wants only bigger, older girls for the team. Look, said Sister. I'm fast, I'm tricky, and I'm a very good kicker. Then she gave Brother's soccer ball a big kick. Very good, Sister, said Mama. Very, very good. The next day, Sister got in line with the other girls to try out for the soccer team. They were all older and bigger than she was. When Sister's turn came, the coach said, What are you doing here? I'm here to try out for the girls' soccer team, said Sister. You are much too small said the coach. The soccer team is for bigger, older girls. But I'm fast, I'm tricky, and I'm a good kicker, said sister. Here, let me show you. She reached for one of the balls. No, said the coach. You are much too small. You may not try out for the soccer team. Sister walked away very slowly. She looked very, very sad. She looked so sad that the coach felt sorry for her. Sister, called the coach, would you come back here, please? Sister ran back. Are you going to let me try out? She asked. No, said the coach, but there is a job on the team you can have. What is it? asked Sister. It is team manager, said the coach. It is very big job. What does the manager do? asked sister. The manager manages, said the coach. She goes on all trips and does all things that have to be done. It is a very big job. Sister took the job. It was a very big job. It was a big job of counting soccer balls, of carrying soccer balls, of counting uniforms, of carrying uniforms of carrying water buckets, of picking up wet, dirty towels, of cleaning the messy locker rooms, of getting sweaty uniforms dumped on her, game after game after game. One day, Sister got tired of being the team manager. She got tired of wet towels and sweaty uniforms and messy locker rooms. She got tired of nobody ever saying thank you. She got angry, too. She got so angry, she started kicking things. She kicked the wet towel. She kicked the sweaty uniform. She kicked the wastebasket. When she had kicked everything in the locker room, she went outside. She kicked a stone. She kicked it so hard, it bounced off three trees. She kicked a water bucket. She kicked it so hard, the bottom came out. The coach was watching her. Sister, said the coach, 
You are a good kicker. I'm fast and tricky too, said sister. Here, said the coach. Let's see you kick the soccer ball into that goal. The goal was far away, but sister kicked the ball straight and hard, and it went in. The coach put sister on the girls' team. At the very next game, sister scored the winning goal right between the legs of a bigger, older cub. So if you are small, keep trying and don't give up. And if you are bigger and older, watch out for the fast, tricky little cubs. I'm so glad that sister was able to join the team after all. She is a good kicker, isn't she? This book teaches us a lesson. Don't be afraid to try something just because of your size. Be brave and try it anyway. What is it that you want to try? Was there some sport that you wanted to try out for? Or maybe try learning to swim? Whichever activity you guys want to go for, I know you can do it. You are all very brave and talented. Which brings me to you are important, you are smart, and you are loved. Next time, we will be reading this book right here The Bernstein Bears and the Wishing Star. I hope you all enjoy the nice sunny weather wherever you may be. Thanks for coming by, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!